from the outside looking in, how do you think Britain has handled the Brexit negotiations so far? Well, just as a, a news junkie, I mean, it's it's been endlessly interesting. Uh, the referendum was very close. So, of course, the debate wasn't going to end with the referendum. And, and what we've seen is you know, British democracy just keep going hammer and tongs on that. And still today, as I see, with a, a vote in the in the House of Lords. But, look, uh, Britain must, must find its way. Britain is a great nation. Uh, you know, there's a lot of transition issues. But uh, at the end of it, it's still going to be a major economy, major country, major world power. Do you think we talk ourselves down a bit on the, on the future here? Because Alexander Downer, the Australian High Commissioner, was in the studio a couple of weeks ago, and he said, for goodness sake, cheer up, you're a great country, you've got a great future ahead of you, and yet all we read about is all the gloom and doom that we can expect after Brexit. I, I think he's got a point. <laughs> I've known him for many years, and he's always an upbeat personality, and, and I always try to see the, you know, the bright side of things, because we're a long time dead, right? To, too long to be, to be negative. So, look, Britain has a tremendous amount going for it. Uh, it's got a lot of argy-bargy to go with the EU yet, uh, but it, it will find its feet with whatever new status it establishes for itself vis-a-vis Europe.